Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over our rear roundhouse kick. I'm going to cover three basic mistakes we commonly make and how to fix them, as well as how to add power and speed. First common mistake we make is our leg position. The one that we plant on, a lot of people just have it forward and they throw, and that's not going to be able to generate enough power. You can do a little quick chop, but we want to make sure when we're doing a full roundhouse kicks, I step out, point my lead leg towards the direction I'm kicking, so I can go right through and come back to my position. The second common mistake we make is we're keeping our butt back and we're almost falling back into that kick, so we're losing all our power. The way we want to adjust this is make sure when we step out, we're firing our hips first, let the quad and then the rest of the leg follow through. So as I step, I'm going to come up on the ball of my foot to be able to twist and come up and spin all the way around to come back. The third common mistake we make is we're dropping our hands. So I see a lot of people drop both hands as they throw that kick which leaves you really exposed for counters. So you want to adjust this by making sure we either keep both hands up and cross over, or I'm going to drop the one and cross the other one over. So our tips for power and speed. For power, I want to make sure I'm stepping in and putting all my body weight behind it. For speed, I want to make sure I'm staying loose and I'm whipping. So I step, whip that leg around and come back to position. Hopefully that helps you guys out to have a better rear roundhouse kick. Thanks for your time. I'll see you at the next video.